Hey everybody, uh, Mike back here. Uh, we're over here at the laundromat build. This is week eight. Um, we didn't really get too much done this week. We had a lot of the basement cleaned up, a lot of the garbage pulled out of the basement, but let's go over kind of the stuff that we did this week. Um, as you can see here, the kitchens, or the old kitchen is all framed in. That's gonna be the new office. We ended up taking uh, this floor out right here, uh, down a couple layers. And then we ended up taking this wall out like this. Throw out some more paneling to take down right here, but um, this floor was so messed up. Kind of right where this area is right here. It was like a big divot. So we put this board in there, kind of flared it out like this. And then our fringe board will go over there pretty level. It's never gonna be perfectly level. Uh, but we'll try to get the best we can. We ended up taking this door out. We're gonna insulate that a little bit better. Uh, we got all these filled out. Got that big metal uh, container out right there. We got all the holes caulked up right here. We ended up taking the cabinets out. There were some built-in cabinets back here. We ended up taking those out. And we're gonna make a small closet in the office. Let me show you the other side. Yeah, so these are like built-in uh, Plazas in here, we took them out. We're gonna frame that in, continue with this all the way over here. And then we'll have a closet inside the office with shelves for whatever. Um, and then we'll continue with the floor. We'll finish the floor, put the next layer down. And hopefully that's pretty level. Uh, we're probably gonna do a VCT tile over the whole thing. So even if it's not perfectly level, um, the tile should be, uh, should correct a lot of it. Over here, we're gonna fill in all the gaps, like right here. You see how low that is? We'll fill that in with board. And then uh, we'll use some floor leveler. We'll take up the back here, and we'll get this level as best we can. Um, it's really not even close to being level, but we'll do the best we can to get it as level as possible. We're using this stuff. Henry Unipro and then the Henry Unipro self-leveling. Um, we'll spread it around and uh, then put a uh, underlayment right over it. And hopefully that uh, creates a secure, non-squeaky floor. If you can hear right now where I'm walking, it's pretty squeaky. So we're gonna have to screw it down and staple it down a little bit better. We we'll use the air compressor to staple that down. Um, but it looks like probably like, the electrician never showed up this week. So we're still waiting on him to be able to start the next side, but um, we're gonna start buttoning up projects over here pretty quick uh, at the beginning of next week. So that's an update for this week. And uh, oh, you know what? I met with my laundry distributor on the layout. I know a couple of you guys were asking about the layout. Let me just. So this was the old layout that he had drawn up. So washers over here, dryers over here, tables in the middle, coin machine in the back, vending, seating up here, this is the front door. Um, we're not gonna be able to get as many machines over here. So we're thinking about doing a bulkhead like this out, just because uh, it fit more machines in. Let me zoom in back and show you the area I'm talking about. So the area between right here and right there, um, we'd only be able to fit five machines, which isn't gonna be enough. So we debated on some other ideas about like coming out this way with machines, double-sided, and a couple of bulkheads like that. Now we still haven't come up with a layer, uh, layout yet, but another idea I had that I was thinking about was, this is the women's room. So we have a men's room right there and a women's room right here. Thinking about taking this out and just having one bathroom opening up the front and then putting a self-service dog wash in there. I contacted a couple companies. Basically what it would be, it would be, you know, drain basin over here, th like a three feet by five feet drain basin. Pretty much like, you know, uh, a shower one without the, sh the glass walls on there and the little ramp to go up. And then I can get on this wall, I can mount uh, self-service. You put the quarters in, select what you want, like soap, uh, 
uh, rinse, etc. And there's a hose with a nozzle and you spray and clean your dog and then there's an option to dry as well. Um, I contacted a couple companies and uh, they're getting back to me with quotes for that kind of uh, setup. But I'm thinking between three and 6,000 for that. And let's see, let's do a quick zoom around. So that's what we're looking at now. And uh, we'll see you guys next week for uh, a week nine update.